It's been almost a year since remote learning became the standard way of education for New York City students. Assisting Bronx middle schoolers with home and classwork, Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. provided laptops to students of MS-337. Do you promise to be the best student that you can be? Yes. Do you promise that you can represent the Bronx and take over the whole world? Yes. Yeah. All right, congratulations. The Bronx Borough President's Office, in collaboration with Adnim Foundation, provided Bronx youth with brand new Chromebooks. The students were selected based on their access to a proper device. There are students in the school whose parents can afford a device. There are students in the school where the DOE gave them a device. But there were also many students in this school and all over the Bronx and throughout the city who haven't been afforded the opportunity to have either one. The laptop giveaway is part of a larger initiative to address technological inequities facing schools and families in the Bronx. In January, Diaz began distributing laptops to Bronx students honoring the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and held a second round of distributions for Valentine's Day weekend. This is not just a, a regular giveaway. This is really targeting, speaking to principals, teachers, identifying kids, who have absolutely zero devices in their homes. Middle schools have reopened, but student curriculum relies heavily on technology. And many parents like Gabriella have chosen to continue remote education for the safety of her children. For me, it's very, very important to receive a new device or a device because I feel more safe to have my child or all of my children at home. I don't want to risk them. As of now, the borough president has given out 800 laptops to students like 7th grader Laquan, who prior to the giveaway had difficulty learning from home. Before, I've had troubles. Like, I use an iPad. I'd have troubles getting on the mate and getting work done. The borough president says the need for computer access still remains an issue for thousands of students in the Bronx. Diaz encourages everyone, including mayoral candidates, the current administration, and those with resources to contribute. I challenge anybody who has the resources, like the admin family and foundation did, uh, to come and work with us or to work with other elected officials in, throughout the Bronx or throughout the, the city uh, and put your money where your mouth is. Reporting for BronxNet, Kibben Aline.